ACL versus firewall. While deploying security solutions in infrastructure setups, administrators may be challenged with the verdict on whether to consider ACL, that is, access control list, or use firewall to secure the LAN network setup. From a bird's eye view, it may seem that ACL also filters the traffic, mostly LAN and WAN communication like the firewall does. However, there is more to it than meets the eye. Firewalls are much more than just traffic filtering. So, let's start with key differences between both the terminologies in discussion. First, in terms of asset type, ACL is a feature on layer 3 devices like Cisco router or firewalls and not any dedicated device. On the other hand, firewall is a dedicated device or software which performs a multitude of services like traffic filtering, record and reporting events application and identity based controls including others. Second parameter of comparison is stateful or stateless inspection. While ACL can't perform stateful inspection, hence it is only limited to stateful way of inspecting the traffic. On the other hand, firewalls have stateable, which is essential feature in firewalls henceforth they perform stateful inspection. On a side note, the state table is responsible for maintaining the state of every connection coming through the firewall. Moving on to the next parameter, which is the scope with respect to OSI model. ACL is only limited to layer 4 that is transport layer where it can allow or block traffic based on TCP or UDP port number. Just for the info, standard access control lists can perform traffic control up to layer 3 while extended ACLs control traffic up to layer 4. Next, firewalls can go up to layer 7 that is application layer in order to control the traffic. Moving to the security provided by each of the terms in discussion, ACL provides limited and low security when compared to firewall, which goes up to layer 7 and is tailor-made to address challenges of security vulnerabilities and attacks. Intrusion detection is an important security feature which is responsible for monitoring a network or systems for malicious activity or policy violations and alerts in order to control the malicious traffic attack on the system. ACLs don't have the capability of intrusion detection. However, next generation firewalls function with intrusion detection. Another comparison is that ACL is deployed in setups where low level of security is required like subnet to subnet communication control on layer 3 device, WAN to LAN blockage or off, RFC 1918 IP blocks etc. On the other hand, firewall is provisioned in setups where higher level of security is required in the network like WAN to LAN security, secured and whitelisted user to application traffic control, etc. Lastly, ACL feature does not require any additional cost since most of the time it is an inbuilt feature in the layer 3 switch or router. Firewall is generally a dedicated device introduced to provide secured communication flow. Henceforth, cost is incurred, that is, both OPEX and CAPEX is required for new firewall and its year-on-year -year maintenance. The table shown here summarizes all the differences between ACL and firewall which we discussed.
hope this vlog helped to understand the difference between ACL and firewalls and which scenario should each type be deployed in. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.